Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and the Detroit Pistons and veteran center Nor Nerlens Noel have agreed to a contract buyout. Um, Nerlens Noel, a really nice center who, I mean, s did just got traded to the Pistons. I mean, um, this offseason, or really early this offseason, was traded to the Pistons alongside Alec Burks uh, in a salary dump from the Knicks. And he played, like, for the Pistons in their first couple games, maybe the first, maybe he was a part of the rotation a little bit in their first five to ten games, averaged two and a half points, and then slipped out and probably hasn't played since about November. Um he was a guy who was really never supposed to be in the rotation. Pistons shopped him around, tried to get rid of him, tried to trade him. Um, a lot of teams had interest. I just they were not able to land a deal. And he's been sitting on the bottom of their bench. They could probably use a roster spot with the roster spot he has. And with that, um, they are going to agree on a contract buyout that will make him a free agent. Um, I'm going to talk about some potential places I could see him going. I'm going to go start with the two front runners. I got the two front runners being right now the have being the Cleveland Cavaliers and the and the Portland Trailblazers. New Orleans Noel's market was really hot in the trade market, but now that you know all these trades have happened, I think that his buyout market's going to be way less than it than his than his. Um, than than his market was in in the trade market. Dallas was a team that was listed as interested in Noel. I could see them potentially still being interested. I don't understand why, but Dallas is a team I could still be seeing interested in in him. Uh, there was multiple other teams like the Clippers, maybe five other teams that were interested in Noel and have found a way to replace him. The Nuggets had some interest. They have landed Thomas Bryant. There were multiple other teams that had interest in Nerlens Noel, and now they don't really need him. Uh, they've found a uh, replace an, another other player that can play his position. But with the teams that I have selected that I think can really use his help, I think um, would be perfect for him. But let's go over that. To the, so I still have the Mavericks being a team who where he could potentially go. They're a, they're a team who's heavily interested in the bio market. I don't see why they need that position. Um, I could see them trying to get rid of McGee in this scenario where you add in Noel, you get rid of McGee, but you still have Wood off the bench. You're going to have Kleber returning soon. Don't know if he's starting or coming off the bench. He's returning tomorrow against the Pacers. But you got a lot of position at that. F you have a lot of depth at that four to five. But I guess Noel would be a nice fit for Dallas. I think they're probably the front runner right now for Noel. I'm gonna go over to the from my second team that I could see signing him. Um, potentially, I think, and this is a bold statement. I think the Cleveland Cavaliers. We saw them make one move in the bio market with signing Danny Green. That's a great signing. We've seen a little bit from him as a Cav, but. And, and here's another – we talk about bench depth for the Cavs. They need more bench depth, and this is a position I think the Cavs really need to really need to lock down. Their center position is outstanding with Jared Allen and Evan Mobley uh, being being that big – that front court. Um, but here's the thing. Their backup center – I love Roy – I love Robin Lopez. He's a, he's a really cool dude. He's a – He's a great guy in the locker room. He's a funny dude. You know, he probably keeps the lot. Honestly, in my opinion, he probably keeps that locker room going. He's a he's a funny mf, but like with his age too, and you know, he's not that. In my opinion, he's not that great of a player anymore. I mean, he's never really been that great of a player. But he, when he was a decent player, that was like five years ago. Um, he's like a nice veteran backup center right now, and and that's for a for a Cavaliers team who's trying to contend. Robin Lopez is not a guy you want to be your backup center. Nerlens Noel is way better than Robin Lopez. He's younger. He can honestly, in my opinion, probably shoot the ball better. I mean, he's not that good of a shooter, but he can shoot the ball better than Lopez. Um, he's a he's a better defender, way better defender than Lopez. Way de better defender. Really good rebounder. Uh, great offensive boards, good put back, really can, can put the ball back in if you miss. 
um, second chance points for you right there. I think he'd be he'd be a great fit for the for the Pelican. I mean for the sorry. I think he'd be a really great fit for the Cavaliers. Another team I'm gonna go with is the Trailblazers. Um get some Dame get some help for Dame here. Um, uh, but it's not really for Dame here. It's more for Nurkic here because and I'm gonna talk about why. Nurkic is hurt and honestly and I know probably a couple of you are probably already thinking this. When is Nurkic coming back? Um and I like Drew Eubanks. I really do. He's a really talented player. But Eubanks is not a true five. He, in reality, you Drew Eubanks, who's starting at five for them right now. Um, he's starting at the back. He's starting at the starting center right now for the Trailblazers because of the situation with Nurkic being hurt. He is a power forward. Drew Eubanks is a power forward. He is not a center. So not only do you need a backup center for when Nurkic returns. But well, you need a starting center right now until Nurkic returns for the playoffs. And then if you if you can be lucky to make it, the, it into the play-in and then into the playoffs, which would be really hard. But you got to make it in the play-in at the 10 or 9 seed. But, I, again, you need a backup center because, in my opinion, Drew Eubanks is a really talented player. He can be the backup four for you off the bench, but... He is not a good. He's not supposed to play center. He's he's not tall. He's not that. He's not big enough to play. Be playing center. Um, you can get a bigger guy out there in Nerlens Noel. I think, in my opinion, Drew Eubanks is a good enough shooter to play the four. And in that case, you can play both off both off the bench. I think Portland would be a great fit for Noel. Here's another team that if they didn't just pick up someone in Myers Leonard and for the ten day contract, I would say he they would be a front runner, but. With the case of Myers Leonard signing a 10-day contract, which I eventually think once he proves a little bit more from them in the rest of the 10-day contract, which probably has maybe one more game left on his 10-day contract or two, one or two games left on his 10-day contract, I think either he'll get signed to another 10-day or he will get a NBA contract. Uh, because I, I mean, he he only scored like three points yesterday, but he's a really good player. I think he's gonna get locked in in Milwaukee for the rest of the season. I think he'll be signed to a rest of the season contract uh, by the Milwaukee Bucks. So I think that takes the Milwaukee Bucks out of the question. Right now, I think Nerlens Noel, where he goes, I think it's gonna kind of come down to three teams. The Cavs, the Blazers, and the Mavs. It's going to be interesting to see where he ends up. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts, and peace out.